Hello, 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 everyone. And welcome back to Full Fathom. Boy, I wanted to show you this one. If you leave the game in the menu paused for a bit, you get this VCR <laughs> logo moving from corner to corner in a random place. This one was an iconic thing at the time when DVDs were out. I didn't know that there's something like this for uh, VCRs. That probably wasn't, though. But, you know, it's a funny thing. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. Back on the ship. And in this episode I wanted to go out and look into those houses a little bit. So that's what we will do. I wanted to look around this submarine a little bit because... Technically there should be something called sensor mount oh yeah i was able to put it in there in the last episode i found one of these cameras inside one of the storage boxes but it says sensor array damage so there was no sensor array basically but now we have a visibility out in the front and there should be a similar one here too somewhere wait am i Oh yeah, this is my lamplight on, so not particularly much. So you see two houses are there. Let's check out the first one. We are 49% with the oxygen. So I need to be very fast in finding something. If I'm correct, I remember it from the first version of the demo. If I get in this direction, there should be an oxygen bottle here. Task, exit region through 721. Oh, we know that one. I think I accidentally opened my, my journal. Throw well, okay. And the motor. And more scrap. Nice. What is this? It's a, it's a arm puller machine. And if I'm correct, there, last time I was checking there was one gold coin on top of this. But now there isn't. Oh, wait, there is one here. Let me put this in there. And I have to pull this to see. Well, I didn't want anything. That That's... Not particularly eventful stuff, but first time I was playing this game, it was actually too easy. I was able to get so many coins that I I ended up having a full bag of it. All right, let's get out and look around more. Oof. Couch. There was a bug in the first demo, which was basically if you press shift multiple times, your character started accelerating into infinity. Oh, what are these? Sea cucumbers. Sardine. Okay. You need to be very careful around here because the sea urchins are are damaging. So you probably shouldn't get in there. Electrical scrap. Oh, we need that one. Oh, pipe wrench. Oh, I would love to have this. Hang on, I need to come back here after I I found some oxygen before I'm I'm dying out. Hang on. Swim, swim, swim faster. We need to get back to the other room. Oh, and I think I'm pricked by the sea urchins. By the way, if you haven't seen these sea urchins in real life, they are... They are nasty. They have these rather sharp stings. And if you are... Electrical scrap. Oh, I think it's kind of bugged a little bit. 
Uh, mm. Hang on. Lair. I use it. Mm, I mean, I'm trying to place this, but I don't seem to be able to. Oh no! Oh no! The inventory is bugged! Ow, 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 ow. Wait, is it something that I can only place like this? I don't seem to be able to place it. Wait, I can, I can probably throw this crap out. Pick up the electrical one, and let's see if I still have a room. Huh, the electrical scrap is overlapping there, so I, I think it's definitely a bug. I need to report this to the developers. And I kinda need to, hang on, change this up a little bit, because it means that if we have this electrical scrap, we won't be able to pick up the the wrench that I really, really wanted to pick up. Because that looks like a very useful melee thing. Let me swim back to the ship and throw out some of the stuff. Hang on. I, the door... Eh. The door is opening inside. Wait. I'm not able to open the door. Wait, can I go outside of it? I can. Oh, dang it. I didn't need to pull it, it goes both ways. Which is very user friendly. Wow, check this view out. Also, one of the suggestions for the demo was, not the demo, but for the full game, during its development, that I made was that these VCR, uh, I guess, lines between what you see here, that is characteristic to old video, that almost looks like interlaced video. Oof. I don't want to see that guy in any same sentence as pleasures. Oh, my stuff is still here. Alright, I'm very happy about that. Let me throw this motor out. And... Um, hmm. Wait, I wanted to check. I threw that one out. This one, I, I eat. I wanted to check if the food will restore. Or I don't actually need to eat it, so I'm just throwing it out. I wanted to say it might restore seaweed percentage, but I don't think it does. And I wanted to come here. I really like this though, that you can just throw stuff out. And it was the similar... Uh, as in Starfield, you can just throw stuff out and it saves on the ship. I'm looking at this panel because this is actually a map. But if you if you don't have an electrical scrap, it will just start sparks. But I picked up the electric scrap specifically. It's rusted shot. Uh, hang on. Can I use that? Um, activate. Um, alright, this was changed. In the last episode, this was... Wait, this is... What is this? Seems to be broken. Rusted shot. Shut off. Right, so in the last demo, this panel was off. And I'm not particularly sure what I did to... To make it off. What is this? Oh, that's a mug. Right, so technically I think we need to open this up with something. 
let me throw out this one because we don't need it and I guess the electrical scrap also will be there because in the last demo when I did this the funnel was off and you could repair it with an electrical component and then this would turn into a map something like that but like a bigger one it seems to have changed since the last time I played interesting interesting all right let me get back down there and get that pipe wrench that seemed to be something supremely good to smash things in with also I don't seem to be my shift my shift is not sprinting anymore and maybe it is somewhat connected to to the previous bug with the sprinting now that you need to have like a very long cooldown it almost looks like it does something but eh hang on it was this way ow oh, that sea urchin up there is always catching me my French woohoo let me see if I can equip it <laughs> you smash a window out I cannot that's alright can I smash the sea urchins with it I cannot oh 33% oxygen that's not too much let me I can pick this crap up, get some oxygen, sunken treasures, stomach growls. Okay, so I, I am getting hungry. I was hoping for something in the trunk of this car, but alas, it's not meant to be. Let's see the first floor. By the way, this is with maximum lightning. Without my headlights, it would be this dark. Which is, I guess, realistic, but still. Alright, let's get in this way. Oh, there's a safe here. And some oxygen for you, in case you want to crack it. And it is... It was a bit hard to figure out, because it has this dial and you can move it up and down and I guess the goal is which was not easily discovered by I me mean, the first demo is that you kind of know how to how safes works which is you know not everybody that was born after the 2000s you kind of need to grab this and then move it left to right then right to left then left to right so basically you need to get the numbers right but we don't know the numbers yet I know where the numbers are but I don't remember them so they, I think they are next to the other house somewhere but we need to check it out and there's some good stuff in that safe so I'm definitely coming back for that once we know the code refilling on oxygen and let's see the other side of the first floor. That's the way up. Oh, this is just a... Oh, another flare. Nice. There's a bed here. Nothing in that. Ah! A spear pistol. Nice. But I think it doesn't have ammo on it. And I have not figured out in the last demo what is it that we kinda need to shoot at here. 
I found fish outside, but you couldn't shot the fish, so... There's a bucket. Or at least something that looks like a bucket. Oh! Floppy disk. Nice. I need to look into the oxygen situation because that's 30%. Oh, I think I cannot open these. Oh, right, there was something in it. A knife! Yes, yes, the knife! The knife! The knife! Let me rush in here before I die because I think there's supposed to be a, an oxygen here. And then we can take a look at the knife. Oh boy! That's me knife! I modeled that bad boy! That's a marine knife actually. It's an old diving knife. Oh, this makes me happy! <laughs> oh yay, look at that! My knife in a real game. It looks a bit more rusty, maybe the texture was a bit altered to fit the setting. But yeah, the shape is something that I made, definitely. Oh yeah! This makes me super happy. In the last playthrough, when I played with this game, I was not able to find this. Oh, look at that queens. And this is more electronics and coins, and I cannot pick up anything more. But I might need to come back for these, because electronics and motor seems to be something really good. Look at that gem! Right, so here we are. We need to come back for the electronics and the safe. I'm not even sure how they meant this game to be only played for like 15 minutes. We have not even moved anywhere, we only discovered half of the first area. Eh. Get. 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 Ah, this door is not swinging the way I want it to. Oh, there you go. It took a while. By the way, there's a fish there. But you cannot damage it. Uh, we, we can check it after I, I got some oxygen and cleared some space from my inventory. Oof. Swimming is slow. By the way, this looks a bit strange that the cow sticks are affecting the bottom side of the... the ship. But that's just a minor nitpicking. Eh, get in there, 12% of oxygen. Wanted to press this button. It doesn't seem to work. I guess whenever I will have my gondola, I will probably be able to do something with that. Yes, stuff is still here. Let me so throw some it, uh, some of it out. I throw the spear gun out because I, I don't think it's useful for anything at the moment. And the scrap. And the flare. Oh, and my stomach was grumbling, so I'm eating that tomato. And I wanted to get back to that machine now that I have a bit more queens. I'm take this, taking this one because I think the second house it's having a lock on it, and I wanted to check if I can hack it with the knife or with that one. It should be logical for me to open that lock with both, but, you know. Emergency oxygen I'm keeping, and I wanted to check the floppy. If it gives us an alternate route. Making new roots, eating disc. 
I don't see any difference. Uh, okay. Alright, let's get... Let's get... Get out. We go back for that electronic thingy. And the scrap motor. I don't yet know when or if I would need that, but I might. And I'd rather have the extra parts than than not. I know I'm, I'm a bit of a boring survivor player, but I'm kind of a hoarder. Alright, let me get up here. And then I think it was this way. Sometimes the character is just boosts ahead. Alright, so this one is okay. That one, I'm not sure what was it, but I picked it up. And I wanted to get in here and get both of these. Refilling the... Oh, and I haven't even admired this one yet. Look at that, it's an old-timey diving suite. Like a very, very old-timey. <laughs> they realized it fairly early that you kind of need to have a, a pressure suite. But damn, this looks like a robot. Alright, back out. Getting down. Getting one more down, and we are trying out that that machine. Maybe we can win something. I know that there's a chance to win more coins, and you can actually get food from this. But I'm not 100% sure what are the chances for each. Let me slot in a machine. Uh, do it. Yeah, we didn't win anything this time either. Ah, we got two coins. Nice. Ah, we didn't win anything. I wonder what these buttons are. Can you put more? Oh, you can put more. And if you win it, will triple your payout. If not, you lost more money. Oh wow, they, they really changed this up. Oh wow, I didn't win anything and I didn't no longer have any coins. Wow, this was, this was made significantly less lucky, but I guess more realistic, because these slot machines are usually done with the intent for you to lose money. Even if you win sometimes, you will usually lose more than you win. The whole point of the slot machine is that you are, you know, you do it multiple million times and you either win some, but eventually the house will always win. Although I'm not giving anybody advice on gambling, since I don't know shit about it. Oh, they have a mail. John, you've been great friend to us over the years, and better neighbor than one can ask for. Theresia is gone, and I'm buried. The thing that was left behind I plan on leaving myself, but I kind of switch on the mode because I'm not good with handwriting anymore. Left behind. I plan to leaving myself. Being here without her is too much. Don't look for me. I'll be gone by the time you read this. Please take care of yourself and your family. These passages have been solaced during these trying times. 61, 33, 43. Uh -huh. Does it sound like... 
safe code for you folks. I hope they can support you as well. Best wishes, Robert. That does sound like a... Alright, let's try this one first. Equip. <laughs> oh! It worked. This is completely new territory. I have not seen this in the demo. Wait, can I? I can't seem to be able to. Ah, uh, okay. I have no idea why, but I still cannot break the wooden boxes. Wait, can I? It was me knife. It would be a bit funny if you couldn't break it with the wrench, but you could break it with the knife. In any case, I have 26% of health. Repair hammer, monkfish oil. And I think that's a fuse. Ah, getting it is a bit tricky though. Kinda need to swim down and then look inside. Oh, I got it. Oh, and I'm 4%. I kinda need to uh, use one of the emergency oxygens. Oh, another knife! Yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah. I guess Monad was definitely making this a bit more prominent because I was looking for this. Wow. Oh, my knife in a game. That's such a treat you folks can't even imagine. Uh, hmm. Um, hmm. well, I can probably get rid of this one. I can move this motor over there and I can take the second knife as well. I take all my knives. Let's look in here. Oh, food. Cucumber. It's a bit hard to, to get it. Sea greens. Well, I can't have a room for it yet. But that's alright. I can come back for it because food is important. Sardine. Yeah, I definitely need to come back here because I, I kind of want to stock up on food before we are moving away. Checking if there is some oxygen here, but I don't think there is. I am at 10%. Oh, there's something big swimming outside. Alright, let me drink the second O2 as well. Because I wouldn't have made it back alive. Let me get out and throw some stuff out in the submarine. After we discovered that house and whatever food we had, we have taken on board, we can actually move the submarine for the first time. But that will probably be in the next episode, folks, because we are getting dangerously close to the 30 minute mark. The atmosphere of this game is extremely good, so I just get lost in it and, you know, time flies when you are having fun, as the saying goes. What? 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 I have a pipe wrench now. Be afraid. I cannot smash its face in. Disappointing. But I survive. Alright, so my stuff is here. I can need to throw some things out. Okay, 
Oh. Oof. Oof. That guy creeps me the heck out. Alright, this will be the episode, folks. The game is saving just in the perfect time. And uh, I'll be back in the next video. We are finishing this area and try to move the submarine for the first time. And we will see what will happen. Alright, see you folks in the next adventure. Oh, wait. I probably should be wearing my fancy diving knife. Which is, you know... Enjoy this! I cannot take it apart, but I definitely would. Alright folks, that was it. See you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.